All righty, heat number five. The owners are finding their place. Everybody's about set. Heat number five. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is going to be a lot of fun getting these dogs back to the gate. Come on. Kelsey Bender let Tedford Woofington go too early. And now we have a dog loose on the turf course. This whole thing has gone pear shaped. Come on, puppies. Well, at least it's not hot outside. I guess Tedford Woofington's owner kind of wants to win a little bit. The old head start trick. The oldest trick in the book. All righty, heat five, take two. We have an owner loose on the track, ladies and gentlemen. She's to the 10, to the five. Touchdown, Vikings! Kelsey, are you okay this time? Excellent. Go! And they're loose! Marley comes out fast, so does Millie. And look at Tedford Woofington. He didn't need a head start. He wins! Tedford Woofington, incredibly fast. He didn't need a head start. He was faster than all these fluffy creatures. Here's number 10, Automobile just chilling. And here comes Winston, thinking the race started about five minutes too late. Winston crosses the line. The winner of Heat 5, Tedford Woofington. See, you guys didn't need to cheat. You have a fast corgi. See you after race eight. Now, we have a very tight photo for second. Number 11 absolutely wins. Look at those terrific corgi strides for Tedford Whoopington. An absolute champion in the making. What about second though? It looks like number two, Millie. We have to confirm for second. There's Tedford barking his way to victory. What about second? Uh-oh. Oh, geez. One and two hit it together. That's very tight. How did Lola go all the way from the inside all the way to the outside? That's crazy. Yes, here we go. Reverse replay. We're going to need the crowd's help here. One or two. 11 wins. Take a look at it, Canterbury. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many people think advancing to the championship race should be number one Lola? How many think it's number two Millie? Lola, we'll see you after race eight.